Uh, welcome back to Brussels, uh, uh, dear uh, Katrin. It's uh, always a pleasure to host you uh, here. Well, whenever we meet, uh, we have a, uh, a broad range of topics uh, to uh, discuss, and today was no uh, different. The uh, transatlantic relationship is uh, very much in spotlight uh, here in Europe. As uh, President von der Leyen outlined in Davos today, we have uh, so much more to gain when we work with and not against each other when it comes to equipping our economies uh, for the future. Uh, we believe we can work on a green transition in a way that solidifies our relationship, helps the planet and upholds the multilateral uh, system. So uh, let me run uh, through, uh, so, uh, uh, through some of our discussions uh, today. Uh, uh, both uh, sides uh, want the next Trade and Technology Council to deliver on our pledges to build a transatlantic initiative on sustainable trade, as announced last month. Uh, when we will meet in uh, Sweden before uh, summer, we want to look at ways to uh, cooperate uh, in areas like supply chains and the green economy. Uh, we also agreed uh, to step up TTC work on removing barriers to uh, trade and to continue to address non-market practices and uh, policies in uh, third countries. Um, uh, we also continued our negotiations on global uh, sustainable arrangement on steel and aluminium with a view of shaping a joint vision for uh, decarbonizing these uh, two uh, sectors. Uh, uh, the clock is ticking as we only have until October to map out the new uh, framework. And we also uh, discussed uh, preparations for the next uh, WTO ministerial and for the meetings in Davos, which we are going to have in this uh, uh, context. So uh, there are uh, tangible positive outcomes to be reached in each of these uh, areas. And of course, uh, challenges remain in a context of US Inflation Reduction Act. Um, uh, here, our dedicated task force continues uh, uh, to work. Uh, we welcome the positive outcome on the tax credits for commercial uh, vehicles, uh, but obviously there are a number of other areas which uh, still needs to be addressed. Uh, the EU remains committed to finding further workable solutions in this uh, uh, forum. Uh, however, we need to make further progress in the negotiations or we will face even stronger calls for the EU to uh, respond. The EU wants to avoid this uh, because uh, uh, going down the route of uh, discriminatory subsidies or uh, tax credits is problematic, especially as we face so many uh, common uh, challenges. Uh, yes, uh, subsidies uh, have a role to play to incentivize the development of green and climate-friendly uh, technologies, but subsidies must not come at the cost of well-functioning markets and fair competition. Uh, instead, the EU and US uh, should be building an open, thriving transatlantic marketplace for our innovators and investors. But for this, we need to have the same uh, rules uh, of the game. Uh, and we need to uh, work on removing uh, key trade uh, irritants. Um, so, um, uh, dear uh, colleagues, um, the EU and US remain each other's essential partners. This will be uh, another challenging year uh, at the geopolitical level. So it's in our strong mutual interest to invest our energy in forward-looking initiatives. As uh, President von der Leyen announced uh, earlier, we will work on rolling out a critical raw materials club with the United States and other uh, partners. Uh, uh, we uh, uh, are also delighted that the U.S. is joining the new global uh, coalition of trade ministers on climate, which we will launch in Davos on Thursday. Uh, this is a kind of inclusive approach we need if we want climate action to transcend borders and regional economic interests. Uh, uh, going our own way is uh, neither efficient nor uh, desirable. Instead, we should create economies of scale across Atlantic and set common standards. Thank you, and I now uh, pass over to you, Katrina.